I'm Arnold Kling, and starting in January, I'm going to be teaching a course on Marginal Revolution University um, with the topic of the American housing finance system. One of my contentions is that a lack of knowledge in specific areas that I'm going to be covering in this course played a major factor in causing the housing crisis and in the failure of policies that were enacted after the, after the housing crisis to uh, work as expected. By requiring Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae to hold less capital than banks, our regulatory system encouraged Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae to grow at the expense of traditional depository institutions. That turned out to be dangerous. When a high-risk loan has been laundered by Wall Street, it can come back into the banking system in the form of a AAA rated security tranche. Once they were laundered as AAA tranches, from the standpoint of capital requirements, bank regulators close their eyes and pretend that the risk has disappeared. I worked at Freddie Mac in the late 1980s and early 1990s, and as a result of working there, I learned first of all about mortgage analytics, second about the business processes and industry structure that surround the mortgage process, and finally I was there during an important period of mortgage history, the tail end of the savings and loan crisis, which was the last big collapse and bailout. So this course isn't going to go into the deepest mathematical detail about how to uh, price out default risk and interest rate risk using option price methodology. I will simplify the mathematics, but I will try to convey the lessons that you can learn from understanding that, that mathematics, because that, it was the lack of understanding those lessons that allowed industry participants to accumulate more risk that they didn't realize they were accumulating and allowed policymakers to not see that risk coming.